1972, but to mothers, it comes at a cost. At the age of seven, their male children are no longer allowed in the hostel. Our counselor came here and insisted that my child leaves because he is seven, and then I took him home. Gender rights groups are shocked. We cannot allow discriminatory issues to take place in South Africa. It's very regrettable, it's very unfortunate, and the situation has to be monitored and a due action has to be taken. The city of Johannesburg denied ordering seven-year-olds to be cast out. By the same token, 12-year-olds will not be allowed to stay with their mothers. The city says it's trying to establish family units, but didn't know when this will happen. Fighting for their rights, today hostel dwellers took to the streets. Apart from being separated from their children, the living conditions under which these women live leaves much to be desired. The SABC went inside the hostel. Rubbish all over. The air filled with a cloying stench. And sewage seeping onto passages and into bedrooms. And fire extinguishers don't work. Others, they go, they go and pay 500. Others, they go and pay 250. But nothing like services are being rendered to us. The SABC showed the MMC responsible for housing the shocking conditions. In our meeting with the Johannesburg Water, we will put as housing our own contribution to what sorting the infrastructure. Human Settlement Minister Tokyo Sekwale has called for total eradication of single-sex hostels. Mangobam Kunu, SAPC News, Alexandra.